Howdy folks! I'm here today to talk to you about an English word that is often mispronounced by non-native speakers. And that is this word, spelled I-R-O-N. So take a second, think about how you would pronounce this word. Alright, now I'll give you the wrong answer, which uh, I was reminded of because I heard my boss say it today. My boss, who is Iranian, and that's not a pun, he actually is Iranian. He pronounced it Iron. And this reminded me of my astrophysics professor from college, who was Russian, who also pronounced it Iron. And of course, Iron is the way the word is spelled, so if English pronunciation made any sense, that is how this word would be pronounced. The actual pronunciation of this word is iron. Iron. At least that's the pronunciation in standard English, or as close to standard English as I can get. If you were to go into the Deep South, you would hear people pronounce the word arn. Arn. So, in a, in a southern accent, at least in certain states, uh, this word only has one syllable and it is pronounced arn. My accent is a little bit in between standard English and southern accent, so I'll generally say something more like iron. Iron. It's got like one and a half syllables. In English, the word iron has two primary meanings, which I think parallel the ones in Dutch. It means the chemical element, iron, with symbol Fe, which in Dutch, according to Wikipedia, is called azer. Azer. I think I'm saying that correctly. And it also means this in English. This is just called an iron. Again, Wikipedia tells me streik azer. Actually, that's really cold. Uh, in English, we just call it an iron, and we also use it for the verb. So this is ironing. Ironing. I am ironing. I ironed my clothes yesterday. I will iron. Idiomatically, iron is often used with the preposition out. So you iron something out or you iron out something. They're both equally correct. Iron can also be used in a metaphorical sense, usually in the sense of smoothing something out, like you would iron clothes. So today, for instance, my boss said that we should get together to iron out the kinks in the program that we're developing. One thing I'm wondering from the Dutch speakers is whether the standard English pronunciation iron, or the Deep South pronunciation arn, is easier for you to pronounce. I don't ask this because I recommend the Southern pronunciation because A, you'll sound ridiculous, uh, and even if you don't, no one will understand you because no one will believe that you have a super Southern accent, uh, especially for just one word. So I don't recommend actually trying to speak like that. But to me, arn sounds almost like it has the Dutch long A, uh, and y'all can tell me if that's close at all. Arn, arn, ironing, irons, ironed, iron, 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 iron. And that's all I have to say about iron. Iron, 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 iron. The more I say it, the less it sounds like a word. Now that I'm making videos a little bit more frequently, I want to try something that I have been wanting to do for a long time, and that is to make a weekly, or however often I make videos, recommendation. I don't know what to call it. I probably need a cutesy name for it, like a pick or a fave, although I don't like the word fave because it's not a word. But I want to recommend something to you. Every week I usually think of something that I would theoretically recommend to people if I had a recommendation segment in my theoretical videos. So here it is. This week, my first one, it's obvious. It is the podcast, My Brother, My Brother and Me. I don't know how many of you guys listen to podcasts, but if you do, check out My Brother, My Brother and Me. It's a lot of fun. It's three brothers. It's kind of an advice show, but it's not really an advice show. They're just really funny guys. I'll put a link right here so you can check it out. I heart my bim bam. They are hilarious. Bonus pronunciation content. How would you pronounce this word? I'll give you a hint, it's not irony, although I think that might be also an accepted pronunciation because I hear a lot of people say it that way, but I think the most standard pronunciation is irony. So this one is pronounced as you would expect, 
unless you've just been thinking about the word iron, in which case it's not. It's also related to the word ironic. I would try to define irony for you, but no matter how I define it, I'm sure that someone on the internet would tell me I was wrong. Bye, kids.